Well, good morning everyone. Just done a, a load of spray this morning. Mateus is milking. He comes out every Friday and uh, helps on the farm. It's part of his uh, farming course he's doing. Um, so yeah, with, uh, I'm still spraying gibberellic acid in urea. But what I've done now is I've actually upped the rate of urea. So uh, I think I'm putting on the urea around 12 kgs a urea a hectare um yeah so it's still not a lot but i was talking to a friend and he would people it on even heavier than that but um yeah so i've lifted up to about 12 kgs of urea a hectare so yeah bring on is interested just trying to um i guess the grass is looking a little bit patchy on the second round um, the first round you seem to get a real good response but the, the second round is a little bit patchy so I'm trying to keep on top of it and keep doing it because if you keep doing it you don't end up with so much of a hole at the end because the, the grass has started growing um, and we've also got fruit on the way so I think next week next week late next week we should see some fruit to put on so um, yeah that'll keep the grass growing as well it's got a bit of end in it and uh, other minerals so I'm not sure exactly what yet so yeah I'm gonna go and check them on Mateus and uh, help him finish off milking how's it going Mateus? They got lots of milk this morning. Yeah. Are you checking? Yeah, most of them I check. So basically, I, I started writing songs, and I wrote a lot of songs on, about this specific subject. Um, what would I say to the chair in the song? And um, if you guys have heard any of my other original songs, my lyrics tend to be a little bit more conversational, and this one almost has this like, biblical style of language that I, that I use. And that's so funny, because I don't know. So there's Mateus down there just shifting the colostrum fence. Normally uh, dad helps me in the morning but gave him a sleep in this morning because Mateus was coming out. No point having three of us doing these jobs. So I'm just going to let these colostrums go. It'll make Mateus hurry up. Really milking cows down there. They think they're getting shifted because Mateus is doing the costume fence. So you have to chase them back through. But right now, don't normally do this. Normally we shift them with the calf feeder, but um, the people that we rear some white face, five white face calves for, they're coming to uh, put a ring on their nuts. And 
I'm running a bit late and Suzanne's probably not going to get here with the feeder so I thought I would just um, get them in. They'll follow me. And they are. There's a couple more to go. Come on, Suk-Suk. Come on, Suk-Suk. Normally I wouldn't do it this way, but it's working out. So we're going to give them a worm drench as well while we've got them in on the yard. Got a couple in here we're keeping for ourselves. There's that little one that was rejected. So, um, yeah, we're going to rear a couple. We've got also the uh, Kiwi Cross bulls, a couple of contract animals. Come on. <laughs> they do that. With calves, they get so skiddy on the concrete. Got a phone call from the, our local uh, stock truck. And uh, he said there were two white face out. But uh, they thought they were ours, but they're actually this place just here. So hopefully they go in that driveway. That's it. Chase him down there. Come on, Tucky. They're not used to being on the yard with these rails around them. No room to run around them. Yeah. Cause normally if they can't get a tee, they'll just pop off and run around and find a spot. They don't like you either, Emma. I know. No one likes me. I need to think about my next sentence carefully. Because <laughs> I was going to say, I like you though, hey? <laughs> and then that was not going to sound good. <laughs> right, they're going to chase those cows through my test. Where are you going? Oh, uh, you're feeding the calves? Oh. Go on girls, where you go? Moaning cows. Go on in you go. The GoPro's working. So the cow just broke this uh, window because I didn't put a reel around the cabin. Just gonna let them graze the um, grass up to the edge of it. So we've got 11 cows left now. No calves today. We didn't have any yesterday. I think the day before that we had four. So um, it still looks like a couple of days before any of these will be ready to carve. <coughs> Fell down in that windstorm. It fell down down there out of that old man pine and a bit of gum up there. So yeah, cut that up to sell. Up you go. That's it, up you go, up, 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 up. So we're just giving them a drench against uh, worms mainly. Cabs are looking good though, I reckon. Hmm. Oh, when did you guys get them dehorned? Uh, they've been dehorned for 
maybe two weeks because you see the yeah pretty well grown over two yeah maybe even longer we get them done when they're quite young mm. i think the youngest one is um three weeks oh yeah they gotta be they gotta be about three weeks old to is three. that that real tiny one in the little mob uh no no because the a lot of the white face are pulled uh. So we're going to go to discussion group after this. What's that? Discussion group where farmers meet up and discuss stuff. Oh. Get it? No. <laughs> well, I'll figure it out when I get there. <clears throat> you might be able to get a job. So this is your first time drenching with that? Yeah. Hard to talk and concentrate, is it? Huh? Is it hard to talk and concentrate on that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible at that. You're like... <laughs> First time? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so push the bum over that way. On that side and you'll find it easier to turn its head around. So fun. Like, not a lot of people like the farm, but personally, personally, I like the farm. Boom. Engineering. We need to fix the skate off at the hinge. Might do that today. I said that last time I was here, but then I was just never got around to doing it. And I don't know if Amos should have said that he was going to do that and never got around to doing it. But personally, I know that I need to get around to doing it. Here's the car V's. Did they run past me or no? Nope. Right, suck, suck. And here we have Hamish in his natural habitat, washing the yard's floor, hoping that we don't get spotted. <laughs> Alright, so just got back from the discussion group, me and Mateus went off there at 11 o'clock. Um, so I'm just working out where I'm going to put the cows, so just uh, over the past couple of days I've just increased their, the speed they ran up to 35, so 35 days means the milking mob, which is around 200, need about 2.1 hectares. So, um, yeah, I've got a, a few bigger paddocks to use up now. So, uh, so these are paddocks that I, you know, like on this, this is how I um, work out where I'm going to put cows. So these lower ones are ones that need to be grazed, um, but they're not quite ready, some of these here. 32 would be closer than these ones. Uh, the colostrums are in 10. Uh, these ones here, 7 and 6, are pretty close. They could be grazed. Um, and then when you start going, uh, the cows are in 8 now, so that one actually needs to come out. So that 8 is a new grass paddock. So they've had that one. So it shows the new grass paddocks are growing a lot faster than the um, just your normal pasture that was the old original pasture because paddock 40 right here that's actually ready to be grazed so I can actually that's one I'm going to graze probably tomorrow because I can get 24 hour grazing out of it um, and paddock 6 it's not um, a new grass paddock but um, that one there is ready to be grazed so yeah it's quite surprising when you've got these ones here, you know, you think you should be grazing, but um, you're going quite a way back. So I haven't written it down in a book, so I don't know when I've grazed it, but um, yeah, coming around to it a lot faster. So it's quite interesting. But yeah, we're gonna go and uh, ship the cows now. I'm gonna put some palm kernel out for them. 
So yeah, we'll get on with it. Talk to your cat.